Welcome back, welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're gonna to do an unboxing of a Gaziano and Grueling Thorpe. Now, I have a Thorpe today, which has a split toe, as you can see here. Uh, has a beautiful apron, this is in hatch grain, and it's all one piece. And what I asked for was for something that was going to be more along the lines of like a Edward Green Galway. Um, and I met with Tozi Gan Tony Gaziano, which was a pleasure. And he said, well, I can't do it exactly like the Galway. Um, you know, we can, we can kind of take a Thorpe and we can, um, you know, make it so that this is um, suede and we can, and usually this part stays leather and we can make this so that it's a little bit of a chevron, but we're not going to copy their design because, you know, that's not who we are. And, um, you know, this is uh, different. So it's going to be a Thorpe. Uh, but we can do a cap toe on it instead, and you know you can change last. So now this is the MH71 last. Now, um, you know you make a few changes, a few pattern changes. Uh, it's, it's certainly difficult to to do. This is a complete MTO, um, so he uh, you know he kind of uh, very nicely took me under his wing a little bit and said, okay, well maybe we can do this, maybe we can't. Let me let me see what I can do. And this is the finished product. Uh, I've seen a work in progress on this, but I haven't seen the initial product after um, taking all the uh, the patina and stuff that that um, that we decided on. I worked with Simon out of their uh, German Street store, um, and here it is. Holy cow! Let's take a look at that. Now, in fairness, I did take it out of the box once, so um, I did uh, unlace it. So that's my fault. But um, they've got this beautiful very soft oily leather here uh, you can see how he did this he went a little bit further in order to equate the um, um, thing he actually did this uh, the facing in suede um, just beautiful beautiful example of really the traditional field boot pattern it's got a very different feel to it than than an actual edward green or any of the knockoffs this this actually has like a g and g flair to it which I really like. This is on the Deco Square last. So if you look at it compared, you can see the similarities. But man, is this an exciting boot for somebody like me who's really into this design. Um, he did absolutely wonderful work. Now this is a Thorpe though. You know, this isn't something that he's doing for everybody. And uh, you can see Deco and nine and a half. You can see on the sole here, this is the uh, traditional sole. Uh, the Deco actually has a uh, little half circle on it, um, di dictating that they went and they did the other uh, part of the Deco line, which is a higher grade of quality. Now, but this is um, really made for me. Very excited about it. You can see there's just a huge amount of uh, stitch density here. Uh, the cleanliness on the uh, on the edge. Um, the fudging is very, very subtle on the edge. The waist, um, you can tell that they sewed on the inside of the waist and it is closed channel. You can see the line where they closed it. So very, very much classic G&G &G and very much unique to my specifications uh, as you would see with MTS. Now this is the one that I unlaced, so you can really see it here as I open this up. One of the things that's unique about the, uh, the Galway is that the lining um, actually goes all the way down into the shoe and they did that here. So the lining here goes all the way to the footbed and um, you know, I think that's just a, a really nice touch. Here, I'll, I'll use a light here so you can see in there. It's just a nice thing. There's the G&G logo. Um, they did nice work. I can't wait to get this one on the hoof and try it out. Um, you know, they, they they put this little lining in here for, for, the, uh, for the tongue, but it's also, you can see the quality of this suede, uh, which is basically like a Janus suede, but you can see that it's full grain because it has the, the back with the, the outside skin on it. And just, just gorgeous stuff. 
they really did some uh, some nice work on these. Beautiful green lining. Did a great job with the toe tips, as as you would expect, right? I mean, they are G and G. Um, very excited about this overall, and excited to add these to the rotation. So take a look. Let me know what you think. I'll post uh, pictures, uh, you know, laced pictures and, and so forth in the sun tomorrow, so you can get a better understanding of this patina. You can really see under the light how this has quite a lot of variance to it, and that is going to be something to behold. So stay tuned and. We'll take a look again in a couple days. Thanks.